Now, before we transfer the files over from our PC to our iPhone, there are a couple of things I need to remind you of. And the first and most important thing is that your computer has to have a Wi-Fi uh, network, which means both your iPhone and your computer has to be on the same wireless or Wi-Fi connection to check to make sure your iPhone is on that Wi-Fi connection. Just click on settings. And in settings, by Wi-Fi, you'll see that mine is connected to my Wi-Fi network. You'll also have this little, these bars. It looks like a, a fan. Uh, if you if you were not connected, what you'd probably most like to see is the uh, 3G emblem there. So make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi before we go any further. Now we want to go into our ISO, ISO program. Once we're in there, we want to click on the three dots at the top. Then we want to click on download. Now, once you get into your download screen, you probably see this window. And what we need to do here is go in, uh, tap in the address bar, and just backspace with your backspace app. key all the way back to http colon forward slash forward slash and now here you want to go ahead and type in your IP address that you wrote down earlier and forward slash and I silo and then click done on your keyboard not the one at the top you don't want to click this you want to go ahead and click the done here once you do that you will now go ahead and see the files that we the file or files that we transferred into your iSilo folder on your computer now an important thing here is that if you have any sort of um, antivirus uh, operating on your computer you might want to disable that while you do this transfer because you might not be able to connect your iSilo to your computer so make sure your antivirus McAfee or zone alarm or whatever you're using is not uh, you can disable it until after this procedure is finished now once you get to this point all you have to do is tap on the file and it's going to ask you which folder you want to uh, download it to now for this this demonstration I'm going to just tap downloads and click save and it just transferred it. Now it's going to ask if you want to go ahead and open the file that you just downloaded. You don't want to do that. You want to click no because if you have other files to be transferred over, then you would go ahead and transfer each of the files. You wouldn't want to click yes. Just click no and then go ahead and transfer the other files that you may have in there so you can download them click on each of the files and download it as we did this one and once you're completed with that then you come up to done and now if you go back to your so there is a file folder and all you have to do now is tap on file to open it. Now I downloaded or I chose to download this this demonstration file into my downloads folder. You would, uh, I'd suggest that you would download it directly to your iSilo folder on your phone. Uh, 
we'll go back here you you don't instead of choosing downloads you just go ahead and choose iSilo for the for to transfer your your files and uh, that's it that's as simple or as hard as it as it is for Vista um, I hope I was able to help you do this and uh, please uh, subscribe or leave some comments for me thank you very much